I am Professor Michelle Oiso and I am the Dean of the Economic and Management Sciences Faculty. The faculty offers a range of programs that cut across the private and the public sectors. More especially, our programs prepare students for scarce skills areas, namely becoming chartered accountants, industrial psychologists, economists, um, public managers across the, the various um, sectors of or spheres of, of government um, and um, information system specialists amongst other things. These are areas of need and areas as I've mentioned of scarce skills and hence it can play a vital role in the transformation um, of our society in meaningful and tangible ways. Our faculty is also instrumental in building partnerships and relationships with government, with industry, as well as civil society. And through this engagement, we are giving meaning to the principle of being an engaged university and therefore an engaged faculty that attempts to strive towards finding tangible solutions and making sense of challenges in the social, the political, the economic and the technological. When I think about our faculty and similar faculties around the country, um, essentially our disciplines are more or less the similar in that we offer um, programs that cut across the private and the public sector. However, insofar as where our students come from, the space is created by the faculty through the university, allows for and enables students from different socio-economic backgrounds and contexts to interface and to engage with common interests, national and international real life problems. In addition, the way in which our schools are structured and um, where the schools are located further embed socio-economic inequalities. However, the faculty space at UWC is one that contributes or can contribute to the levelling of the playing fields where students from different backgrounds can converge to engage in deliberative discourse, make sense of real-life problems and also prepare to collaborate in the world of work. Our faculty is a key stakeholder in levelling the playing field across gender, race and culture since many of our students are most likely to be first generation graduates holding qualifications in scarce skills areas. Many of our students do not have access to the networks that we have access to, therefore the faculty space is a space and should be a space that brings together stakeholders from different sectors and facilitates um, access and facilitates engagement between these stakeholders and our students in enabling them and preparing them for the world of work. Our faculty has recently launched in, in, in an effort to facilitate access to, to networks. Our faculty has recently launched a faculty advisory board and this comprises of um, stakeholders from within the faculty, stakeholders within the corporate sector, um, government and also um, consultants who have extensive experience across the spheres of government. The purpose of the advisory board is really to consider how we prepare our students through a curriculum that integrates work into their learning for the world of work and hence we've acknowledged the important role that external stakeholders i.e future employers have to play in so far as this preparation is concerned so the advisory board will focus on curriculum and ensure that curriculum is relevant to enable our students to be more competitive within the context of the, the, the labour market. Um, but also it will afford the faculty an opportunity to facilitate internships and other kinds of initiatives that better prepare our students for the world of work. So part of the idea is that the external stakeholders will, um, will accept the role of mentorship 
and mentor our students in what we traditionally define as the softer skills, but yet it's the skills that matter. Um, how to prepare their CVs, how to prepare for an interview, um, how to dress when in the workplace, how to carry themselves in the workplace, um, and then just attributes around confidence, self-esteem, the kinds of things that we don't always focus on as academics and as academic mentors. And hence we are really excited about um, the, the opportunities that resonate within this space and the role that uh, key stakeholders will be playing in assisting us to better prepare our students for the world of work. There's been a number of uh, achievements that our faculty has celebrated over the past recent years. I'm just going to list a few that come to mind. The first one that comes to mind is the full rating of one from the South African or by the South African Institute for Chartered Accountants. And what this means is that our faculty and university is now a fully accredited um, program in terms of preparing students for the board exam, which is part of the process for them qualifying as chartered accountants in our, in our country. Um, the more recent achievement is that we've just become a fully funded Tatuka bursary program. This is a wonderful achievement. It um, involved engagement with the Psyche board and pre presenting what we have accomplished as a pilot um, program. And they then awarded us the status of being a fully funded program um, where they allocate um, full bursaries to around 30 first year students who are pursuing the BCom accounting qualification um, and these other forms of support that the profession also covers. And this is within the context of trying to transform the sector within um, accounting. Um, <clears throat> more recently, the second part of 2018, we offered in collaboration, or we started to offer in collaboration with the Faculty of Natural Sciences, a number of what we call 4IR programs um, at the postgraduate level. And um, in particular, the faculty drives the programs on data analytics and e-logistics. Some stakeholders within the sectors haven't even started to think about applying these forms of technology, so we are really chartering new grounds um, in this regard, and we are also um, focused on encouraging our undergraduate students to pursue these areas of specialization at the postgraduate level because indeed it will contribute to them being more marketable and also to the country trying to grapple with the challenge of scarce skills resources. Our industrial psychology department was recently accredited by the Health Professionals Council of South Africa, um, its master's program, and this means that we are able to prepare industrial psychologists. So we prepare students to write the board exam and we also facilitate internships, which are two important components in terms of the qualification or the profession of industrial psychologists. And then we recently um, launched the, or opened what we call the Zoom Room um, that's located in the Department of Political Studies. And this was a, a very generous contribution from the University West in Sweden. Um, it's really to facilitate and to embed the partnership between the Department of Political Studies and University West not only in terms of opportunities around research, but also in terms of the master's program in work integrated learning, which has just gone through all the internal processes of approval and now we await um, approval from the Council of, of Higher Education. So this program will really be one of the first of its kind um, in South Africa. 
I think last but not least, um, I'd like to mention as an achievement and something that we celebrate is how academics within the faculty have really embraced the profession as a vocation and have really been very creative around how to support our students. Um, in the course of last year, one uh, academic in particular, Ronald Orenser from the Department of Accounting, managed to secure around 50 million rand to support students in accounting and also staff in accounting in terms of their development. Um, and this was funding obtained from the financial sector CETA as well as the bank CETA. And just yesterday we had um, additional exciting news that Momentum will be sponsoring 50 third year BCom accounting and BCom financial accounting students to the value, I think 21, sorry, 21 students to the value of uh, 50,000 rand per scholarship for the year. So there are such exciting opportunities and um, I think that as a faculty we have much to be thankful for and grateful for because there are many colleagues who are really going above and beyond um, in contributing to the success of the academic project. We are indeed um, stronger as the sum of all of our parts. And so I will continue, and the leadership of the faculty will continue to work towards um, collaboration and partnership across disciplines within the faculty and between our faculty and external stakeholders.